And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel. And this time, it's knives from... PMP Knives. Maxis. Ferrum Forge. Roik. Stat Gear. And offerings from Tools from Gents. And Tor Knives. Yeah. Been a while since we featured this many different things from so many guys. I'm excited for the table this week. I'm excited for the table too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started right now. First blade up, the Ferrum Forge Lucky XL. Nice. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. Available in black and green. We have both. <gasps> what? The fixed blade is 8.9 inch overall with a 4.6 inch blade that is offered in either 9CR18 MOV mm -hmm. or D2 steel. Nice. We have the D2 black one, and just to make sure, the D2 green one. Okay, so both of these are D2. And you can get them in either color. I know, riveting. With a 4.3 inch cutting edge, flat grind, jimping, and the blade is about 0 0.16 inches thick. They each have stone wash finish. Plain edge handles are, of course, G10, in the colors we mentioned, with lanyard holes. Both fixed blades come with a black kydex sheath. Hold on. There it is. Nice. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. This is a Civivi sheath. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Weighs only 7.8 ounces and 4.7 without the sheath. And they start at only $99.84. Lenknife.com. There it is. Okay. You're up. Well, I like Ferrum Forge. They're always consistent with the looks of their knives, and they're always considerate of the user. I mean, look at that. Look at that choil. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I mean, my finger just fits. There's also a smaller version version of the Lackey. It's more like 6.31 inches overall. More of a neck knife since the sheath comes like a beaded chain. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, I'm glad that they did a larger version. Like, you can just do so much more with it. What about you? I'm uh, the same way. Oh. Now, the D2 version is the one that I would want. Green. Even the 9CR18 is fine. I mean, for regular everyday use. But, I like the belly mm. on this beast. Did you get it? You, you're enamored by the Civivi on the... On the sheet. They just made the sheet yes. for them. Or actually the Tech Lock, probably. Oh, can't use that term. The, um... No, tech, <laughs> tech Lock Light. The Molly Compatible... I don't even know what you just call it. Just say Tech Lock Light. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right. Yeah, I am a little... But, you know, is that all you got to say? That's it for me. Okay, fine. So, our next knife is the Max Ace Midnight Cat Persian, which is available in two options as well. There's a light gray and a muted dark purple. Mm. So, we have the muted purple one here. It is 9 inches overall with a 3.9 inch Bowler M390 steel blade with jimping. Satin finish is about mm, 0 0.16 inches thick. So, blade is deployed. With the jimp front flipper, whoops, sorry, it's got some grease on it. I didn't clean it off. And operates on ball bearings. Handle is a combination of TC4 titanium and a colored carbon fiber inlay. Yes. Backspacer and tip-up pocket clip are TC4 titanium as well. Each Persian is only $250 at alandknife.com. Without any cat puns. What do you think of this frame lock? What do I think of this frame lock? Wow. I won't do any cat puns. I actually like it. Without the one thing. You know what it is. But I like the style of it. It's very Reich or Riat looking. Mm -hmm. I really like this style of uh, high-end knife. Well. I know. Other than that. I like their unusual color combos they got going on. I think that tends to maybe isolate some of their fans, but I like it. Makes them different from all the others on the table. I also like that they went with a more slim design this time, as opposed to like the Goliath 2.0, which was like huge. Ah. No lanyard hole, but the steel is excellent and it's sharpened to perfection, so can't I can't complain. It also right. comes with a black zipper pouch. so. You can go on to the next one. Next. All right, and that would be the tools for gents. Navajas Barbudo Balmas. Uh, as you would say, Kazuntai. Butchered. That's that's a lot. All right. Go ahead. This carry is offered in three options. Natural Macarta and Fat Carbon Fiber Toxic Storm. 
Yeah. We've got the Toxic Storm with us today to abbreviate it. Yeah, so this folder is 8.3 inches overall with a 3.74 inch Bowler M390 steel blade, which is about 0 0.15 inches thick and has a flat grind. It is open via the, yes, back flipper stud. Yes. Thanks, Tools for Gents. Or, uh, Navajas <laughs> Barbudo. Uh, features a titanium bolster as well. I believe that's who we should be thanking. Yeah. The handle on these frame locks varies from fat carbon <laughs> fiber we had to, say it again. to canvas micarta. Each sports a lanyard hoe and is perfect for on-the-go carry with her titanium tip of pocket clips and I would say handsome black zippered storage case, but they come without. No. I know. It is his last time too. We are upset. We're not gonna take it. Yeah. Dedicated to Francisco Javier Balmas and manufactured by Miguel Barbudo's company, Navajas Barbudo, as the uh, name on the pocket clip might allude to right mm -hmm. there. These hardy sheep's foot knives are perfect for cutting anything from boxes to steaks, although we haven't tried it ourselves on either. Trust us. They're sharp. They are. They're going to you can cut through steak with the Toxic Storm for only $399. I'm hungry. Lanningknife.com. All right, you can go first. All right. I really like this knife. Do you? Yeah, the color combination thing, I'm kind of right there with you on it, how they can, um, it's like somebody like, you know, lost the the colors of Africa on the handle. The um, Reich 1902, how they have the blue and the red. I mean, yes, they do limit themselves on who they're going to sell them to, but I think a lot of people kind of like it. So, and I like the size of that blade, the thickness of it's nice. I do. I like the thickness of the blade. I like the color combos on both the carbon fiber mo models. A little much in price. I know it's already mentioned, but I have to. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They're very well made. They got a little Spanish in there. You got the high quality, quality Bowler M390 mm -hmm. blade. You got the elongated titanium bolster, the carbon fiber. Come on. Mm -hmm. You got to love the mix. The quality is good. The shape of the blade is really nice. It's just well built. It's it's elegant. Okay. This is a beautiful blade. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, just look, look at the, to the if you just look at the head part here. Like right here? Right at the bolster. It's just, you can it's tell. It is, look at that. It is gorgeous. It is well made. I'm going to do what they do on QVC. Do you see that? Do you see that, <laughs> that glimmer? This is eye quality. It is. Not that I've watched QVC, but mm -hmm. yeah, every you other got, You got a wife. Channel. I know. I'll All right, you so there. you ready to move on? Uh, yeah. All right. Beautiful blade. Move on to our next knife. It is the Tor Knives Cryptia. Ready? Offered in three different options. Go ahead. I'm waiting for it. You I normally do it in order. Because I have the, the stealth. Yep. Bronze. Can you even and see the carbon stealth? fiber? I don't That's know where question. it's at. I've lost it. So there's the. We've got them all bronze. again. So they're all eight inch overall mm -hmm. with a four inch CPM S35VN blade. They're about what about a quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. about thick, with Ooh. thumb ramp with what? jimping for reverse drawing the blade. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Handleless Texture G10 with lanyard hole. Finally, each comes with a black Kydex sheath. Yep. So, hold on, I'll show you on this one. <sighs> Click. Look at that. So, each is made in the USA. Weighs only 7.2 ounces. And they are offered at landknife.com for only $2.95. Nice. All right. Best thing you... out of San Diego since the Chargers left. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I really like these blades, especially the Stealth. You see the type of finish they put on this one because they all have slightly different finishes. Um, I think it would go really well with the Tomahawk we did last week. Blade is very well ground. It gives like a razor sharp edge right up right up to the edge there. It's definitely going to definitely gonna cut down on the amount of times you have to sharpen it because they did it so well that it's just so sharp right now. There's Take anything off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What do you think? I got two knives. I like the thumb ramp too. One for each of you. Yep, and then you got the one that's partially. Well, I gotta be honest. Of, that one's yeah. nice. The bronze one. You Carbon, know the carbons away. The difference between this and say, the lackey. Okay. You have to hold it to feel the two hundred dollar difference. <laughs> it's about two hundred dollars. It is. A, I mean, just how nice it, this it, is. How heavier, weighted. Yeah, it's actually, but not heavy. Yeah, but if you look at it, you can see... It fits in your hand. Let me just sh show you. There's the lackey and the toy. I mean, it's like it's going to hang out here all day. 
by itself. Just it's like they it's, they called and said, "Hey, see how big's your hand?" And I said, mm, five point six three four eight inch cross." And they're like, "Well, that's exactly what we're going to make this one for you." Oh my gosh! I don't know what to tell you. I mean, is that one? Let me see that one. I like it too. With the it's serrated. what the difference is. So and they're all individually marked numbers. So yeah. That's nice. Nice thickness on the this blade. This is nice. That's your difference between 99 I mean, and that one's okay. It's nice. It's, oh, it's round nice. forge yeah. and everything. And if you don't want to, you know, go $2.95 landknife.com, then you get the lackey. But this is nice. All right. Okay, I better put them down. You ready to move on? Put them down. Okay. All right. So, excellent. On to the next one. The next one is the PMP Spartan in both regular. I guess. And extra large. Yeah. Man, it's an extra large week I love this extra week. large weeks, the extra too. Large which extra means large. there has to be an extra large giveaway. Awesome. But first, we'd like to ask you to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. <laughs> you didn't seem all excited. Well, well you know. As well as we, ringing we get, the bell. We get, you tit for tat, people. Quid pro quo, okay? We give you something, you give us something. That's how is. this exchange works. Right. So you're always linked to our extra large content and you get the details when we drop new videos or giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, it's time to announce the winners of the Mystery Kaiser Infinity Giveaway. I love the smell of giveaway in the morning. Wow. Sorry. Go Sorry. ahead. It's better than napalm. <laughs> is it? So on the YouTube, the winner is the knife obsessed John Roast. Everybody give John a hand. All right, All right, well, over on AK's blog, the winner of our, their own Kaiser Infinity is the avid, avid everyday carrier, Rick Peterson. There it is. Yeah. Congratulations to all the winners. Make sure to email sales at alangknife.com to claim your mystery Infinity prize. Nice. So we thank everyone who not only participated, but watches the show. We'd be lost in the deep recesses of the internet if it weren't for you guys. I feel like we already are. Probably. <laughs> to thank all of our AKers and to commemorate this extra large episode. Yep. We've got a theme going here, we do. don't we? We're starting our next. This should be the week that the guy slides down the thing out into the, the water. Extra exactly. large. Happening on both YouTube and AK's blog, we are giving away a special prize, which we'll announce next week. I know. We're jerks. It's very good stuff, though, okay? So good, in fact, that both the camera girl, Wendy, and Ja Crispy tried to stake a claim, okay? But we thought it would only be fair if we shared the good fortune with you AKers, okay? Remember mm -hmm. that. Trivia question for this giveaway will be released today, so the link is And right the now, the fortune's being shared by UPS. That's great. <laughs> That's great. You can enter here or there. Oh, you can enter anywhere. There it is. As long as one of the participating YouTube episodes or the AK trivia question. Okay. Remember, though. Only one may win. Run like you want to win. All right. So back to the PMP Spartan. Let's do it. Yep. So we'll do the XL first and compare the regular. Wow. So XL is only offered in one version right now. I know. Wah, wah, wah. Black G10. However, the regular has many options if you want to go that route. The XL is 9.6 inch overall. Oh, oh. Let's just ponder that. Has a four inch bowler N690 wide drop point blade, which features a stone wash finish, high full flat grind, and it's about an eighth of an inch thick with extensive yeah. jimping. Blade can be deployed with jimped front flipper. Hold or, on, hold on. Or a thumb opening. Yes. And operates on <laughs> I like this one better. a celebratory open yep. on ball bearings. Handle is black G10 with lanyard hole, jimped stainless backspacer, and tip up right carry pocket clip. Look at that pocket clip. Way to go, Vanna. So this folder was designed by Patrick Holstein and weighs only 6.7 ounces. Features full skeletonized stainless steel liners. Right there. Look at those guys. I'll even show it right mm -hmm. there. And is offered at AtlanticKnife.com for the non-extra large price of $165. Patrick Holstein did a great job. Holstein. <laughs> I was doing a psych reference. Okay. I got you. Now, the regular Spartan, for those who want a little less knife, mm -hmm. offered in green, brown, black Macarta, along with black G10. And you can go with uh, either the Bowler N690 or Damascus. We have the green Macarta one with Damascus here. Yep. So this one is only seven and a half inch overall yep. with a 3.25 inch Damascus blade. Same specs, full flat ground, drop point, eighth inch thick, front flipper, thumb opener, skeleton eye, stainless liners. The only difference is the overall length 
and so the blade mini next length. To it. it does, doesn't it? And it's not that much. Can you smaller. believe seven and a half inches looks mini? It it does. It it's looks only two mini. inches. I know. It's amazing. And it starts at only 150 at Atlantic.com. So Damascus is about 160. Atlantic.com. Way to clean it up. All right. Okay. I'm gonna give you the one you want. You know so, which one I want. I think I know what you're going to say about this knife. So, you like the XL more than the regular. You wish you'd had it in Damascus steel over Bowler and 690, even though the Italian steel is great. And you wish for a back flipper. Am I on the money? I have nothing else to say. Yeah. I knew it. I feel the exact same way. Nothing really different to add. I don't think that's ever happened. I think we should revel in that a little. Okay. All right, reveling's over. So, this is fun to flip though like this, I have to say. Locks up really well. Okay. Let's go on to the next They also one. come with cases. There they are. Okay, so, our next EDC on the table is the Stat Gear Asa Slim. Sounds good to me. So, go ahead. Alright, this knife has two variations. Brown and black. Featured in many gear-related magazines, this folder is the more sleek design of the original Asus. It is 7.3 inches overall with a 3.125 inch D2 steel reverse Tonto blade with black finish and some scallop jimping, mm. which means they're kind of like rounded. Nice. Different and functional, my two favorite things. Handle is very smooth, G10, and like the original, is cut out near the lanyard hole. For design? Yeah. No other reason but to be different, which I kind of like. Blade is opened with, this is another thing I like, back flipper stud. Oh, wow, so blade yes. is openable. Yeah, <laughs> good. I like Finally, that. it's got a black reversible tip-up pocket clip. I love when you can open it. It's nice. These everyday carry liner locks are only $34.99. Atlantaknife.com. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go first. So I like this knife. Simple, yes, and there isn't much color variations, but I think it's different enough in like the style of the blade, the scallop jimping, the cutout here. Different enough in design, and it, look at that. Yep. It's like snaps. This Tell us what you really think. Th this, it feels like a $50, $60 knife, not a $34. I'm going to be honest. I mean, the other version they did of this one, the original Asus, was like 8 inches, 3 and a half D2. But it had like a satin finish. You had to open with a thumb stud. Micarta. It wasn't really this. I also think it was launched like a Kickstarter campaign, whereas I believe this one was not. So I, I like that they did this one on purpose. <laughs> so what about you? What say you? What I like this you? one a lot too. I think it's a good knife for the money. I like the styling. I like black. There you go. That's all you got. Well, what else do I need to say? I like the blade shape. Reverse Tante. I have, thought, I have a thought, but what else do you need to say? <laughs> I bet you'll put it up there it's, too. It says buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the thought level says. That's what it is. Okay. You so, should tell them about our Black Friday deals, Miss Kitten. <laughs> That's great. You just told them. That's great. So. That brings us to the following tools, the M32 Roik and the M31 mm, Roik. Wow. Because you know we love that. That's classy Roik. Look at that. Hey, they did, they did nice. put some letters in there with the numbers. i got to make sure I have the right ones. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm going to name it myself, to be perfectly honest. It's going to be the Roik Does Most of It All multi-tool. Did the dim in it. Yep. Yuck. So available in four different options. They just vary in color, you know, from brown and green, which I think we have one green one here. I just mm -hmm. want to show you the color. And of course, the number of tools. So I'm gonna have to, gonna have to call it the M32 because I'll be able to tell you what it looks, how it's different. Okay, so M32 is 6.45 inches overall with a Sanfic 12C27 stainless steel mirror finish blade, a little over two and a half, opened with the nail neck, of course. Handle is brown G10 with 420 stainless steel liner, slip joint locking mechanism, of course. So go ahead. A nice see. tight slip joint like yeah. locking mechanism yeah. as I've noticed, which said, hey, you want your slip joints to be tight. It features a corkscrew. Hold on. A wood saw oh I'm not gonna cool. that's not right. A wood saw blade. Hold on. Can't this is this. this is not fair. We'll be here to midnight. Thanks. Glass breaker. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there's the wood saw. The glass breaker's uh -huh. on the end. What's the next thing? Are you playing the Jeopardy music right now? That maybe. Tweezers. Tweezers. Oh, they're kind of tucked in. Bottle opener. I don't know where they're at, but they're on here. Large screwdriver. There's the bottle opener, the large Wire screwdriver. Wire stripper. Wire stripper. Belt cutter. Belt cutter. Small oh. screwdriver. <laughs> Can you show them the key ring? There's the keyhole right there. <laughs> there it is. And, most importantly but not least of all, 
the reamer. The reamer. It's right there. Yeah. They call this a drill, but it's not so. <laughs> Just don't say we can, like, you know, start drilling holes with it, because you can't. Very good. Hold on. Wow, that is really strong lock up there. It will loosen up over that. time. Hopefully. Yeah. I cannot figure out. Oh, there's the tweezers right there. I'm not going to take them out, but they're right there. All right. All right. And the only difference between the M32 and the M31 is that instead of the saw blade, it features, hold on. Skizzers. I'm looking. I can't remember where all the nail nicks are. It, it features scissors. It features and the Royk multi-tools. Look, I got them. There they are. Are offered okay. at AtlanticKnife.com starting Oof. at only twenty-five ninety-five. We're going to let Joel take a break and catch your breath. You can go first. All right. Let's take this. Well, look, I'm not a multi-tool fan. I've already mentioned this. Oof. But I kind of do like this one because of the actual oh. use of the blade. There's the key ring. <laughs> Most multi-tool blades are teeny. Yeah. Not usable. This one, they at least get This one's in the half, first spot. You pull it out. It's almost like having a pocket knife. I like that a yep. lot. Then there's some other tools in here that I would use. Not the corkscrew crazy. would not be one of them. No. I have all kinds of corkscrews at my home now. and Because he's a big drinker. Let's just say it out <laughs> I even have the automatic have ones. I mean, and none of them seem to last more than two, three hundred bottles. Wow. So, <laughs> Is that what they average it now? I never would have known. Uh, man, my electric one, I got to change the batteries about it after tw every, 20, every 20 bottles. Wow. I'm like, mm, I'm like, it's like I just put batteries I in I know, the just the other day. It's crazy. I that, like I like the multi-tools. I mean, yeah, they're a little tedious when you're trying, but you're not going to open all the tools at once. So I think it's good to have something that will carry it all. Mm -hmm. Some of the tools are not easy to get to. Like I believe the wood saw might not have a nail neck, but it's more budget friendly. So that's nice. I also like that they use sand Vic steel. So that's a decent steel for this level of carry. All in all, I would say it's good for the price. I mean, it has tweezers and a key ring and the pocket clip so you can attach it any way mm -hmm. you want. I got you. Yep. Yeah. So that was our final EDC on the table. There it is. Yeah. Before we tell you guys what our favorites were, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ringing the bell. So you're always hooked on AK's content in more ways than one. And you also get entered to giveaways. Can't be the giveaways. It's just that happy little bonus. Yeah. Finally, we're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. We're all shaking. Look up Atlantic Knife on any of those for extra reviews, deals, knife photos, and AK AK updates. Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll have that up very soon. Soon. All right. I'm going to go first. All right. Are you sure what you said earlier? <laughs> no, but you go ahead. All right. I'm going to go. You're going to go with the multi-tool, aren't you? No. Okay. I'm going to do two. <laughs> nope. Yep. High end. I'll stick with that one. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite so, for this So you're week. going with the Navajas. Yeah, I'm not repeating it. Okay. I just like the way it's made. I normally would not it, pick it the most really expensive nice. knife, but that was that was my second option. I'm actually gonna go with the yeah, Tor that's my second option. Cryptia because the thumb ramp and the I like the tours. and the thickness. It's nice. It's mm -hmm. just nice. Yeah. Wow. So <sighs> go ahead. All right, AKers, make sure to tell us what your favorite knife of the week was. We won't make fun of you. Well, see my Not to your face. As long as you aren't my mother-in-law, you're great. fine. Hey, you're, eight. you're number one in my book. <laughs> With that, I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off.